Good evening, and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter, where you join us for our Gospel reading for the evening and a Lent reflection. The Gospel reading is from John chapter 7, verses 1 and 2, 10 and 25 to 30. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of booths was near. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, but as it were, in secret. Now some of the people in Jer of Jerusalem were saying, is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from. But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. And Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me. And you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. Reading the Gospels over the last two weeks of Lent, we feel a growing sense of danger for Jesus. As the drama unfolds, the impression of doom continues to grow. In today's reading, Jesus is reported to be travelling and preaching in Galilee. But we are told that he has decided to avoid Judea. He was aware that the Jews in that region were seeking to kill him. However, as the time draws near, many of his disciples decide to travel to Jerusalem for Passover. Consequently, Jesus also decides that he will go to Jerusalem. However, he must have felt some uncertainty about this decision, as we are told that he decided to go in secret. Put yourself in Jesus' shoes. Imagine what it would be like to know that people so hate or fear you that they are plotting to kill you. Jesus was a man of deep love and compassion for all peoples. He had never hurt anyone. Yet he was unafraid to challenge the Jewish officials, and it appears that they were beginning to plot against him as a result. Did these men fully disagree with Jesus' teaching, or were they simply afraid of his popularity and influence with the people? When Jesus arrived in Jerusalem, he was immediately recognised. Given the growing danger he was in, it was surprising that Jesus preached and taught in the temple area. Naturally, not everyone believed in Jesus, especially some of the temple officials. They knew where Jesus had come from in Galilee. How could they possibly think that he might be the promised Messiah? Finally, Jesus had had enough. He speaks loudly to the people around him and tells them that he has been sent by God. Although the temple officials were convinced that from their perspective Jesus' words were blasphemous, punishable by death, they were frightened by his power and influence over the mass of ordinary people and left him alone. Today might be a good day to ask ourselves, why do I believe Jesus became one of us? And then ask yourself, how does my belief in Jesus shape my understanding and relationship with him? Do I truly believe that Jesus came to the earth for me, as well as for every person on earth? Or is this unfolding drama just too familiar to us, and thus we might allow this familiarity to inhibit us from entering deeply into this mystery. 
Over the next two weeks, the danger Jesus finds himself in will continue to grow. Will we allow this story to unfold in our personal lives? Will we walk and talk with Jesus? Or will we keep a safe distance away from him and just be an observer? No one else can make this choice for us. In the days ahead, what will we choose? Our colic for the for Lent. Almighty God, may we by the prayer and discipline of Lent enter into the mystery of Christ's suffering, that by following in the way we may come to share in the glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So that was our Gospel reading and our Lent reflection for Friday the 15th of March. We will have another one uh, on, at 6 o'clock on Monday uh, the 18th of March uh, and we'll have morning prayer at 9 o'clock on the same day. Have a wonderful weekend and if you're local, go to our churches. Bye for now.